Hello, welcome again. Uh, today we will explain you how to get started with the course. Uh, first, to uh, get the license files and install uh, the software for this uh, free FEM course, which will be civil firm powered by Mark. Then uh, we will show you how to to use the graphical user interface and always um, check uh, the platform, the virtual class platform for all news and new exercises and new lessons. So, first of all, you, as it is explained in the in the, in the classroom, download the host ID utility. Uh, this uh, tool will uh, ask you for, for some data of your computer uh, as you can see here just uh, save uh, to file those uh, data and send send this file to any of uh, these uh, uh, email uh, addresses then you will receive back two license files because you will need one file for the for the solver for mark and one another one for civil firm okay then you can uh, or in the or in the meantime as well you can download the, the installer you have the link here and in the of course in the in the classroom then once uh, you you have uh, the files and you start down, uh, installing the, the software uh, a window will be prompted. This uh, shows it shows for 2019, but it's the same for for your version. Uh, as you will have two files. First, uh, you can add the local file of uh, our Mark licensing of MSC licensing, which is the the the, the file with the DAT extension save changes and then you go to the next uh, part which is the civil firm licensing and you add the local file the the that uh, liz lic extension and save changes and exit so once you add those two files you can get uh, the software uh, running and now, once you have it installed and with the pointing to the both licenses, you can open your uh, your software. Here is the graphical user interface. So I show you in the presentation. You have these uh, tabs organized from left to right. This one of the exercises which are available in the platform. Okay, it's the exercises are explained step by step for you to to follow. Once they get uh, more, uh, once you you get more uh, used to it, yeah, well, uh, the, uh, less steps will be explained because uh, uh, you get accustomed to the to the software and uh, yeah, more uh, advanced capabilities will be will be shown. Okay, but the process will be always the same as you can see here. Create the geometry, the material, in this case sections, or any new tools as here it uh, the springs or contacts, and then have the mesh created. Apply loads, it will be a point load and moment load loading, boundary conditions very 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 important. To obtain a uh, very uh, good uh, good results, and define the lot case, which will be the, the result to obtain. In the lot case, you can combine both of uh, the loadings and boundary conditions as you wish. Uh, solution, and get get results. Okay, this is all explained in this in this slides available in your in your in your classroom here 
I can show you here. In this case, we have defined two two lines. Uh, actually, uh, we only need one line for the beam, but we need an auxiliary uh, line to apply loads because we applied loads only uh, uh, in in one uh, half in half of the of the beam span. Okay, the materials then are defined here. We define the mesh, defining the different structural elements. In this case, the structural elements are R4. Okay, depending. In, in this case, we we have we are we are using a, a 2D 2D analysis. Okay, and for um, this type of uh, of uh, of behavior we can choose from the beam structural element which has a uh, bending stiffness and if we only need uh, axial behavior you will have for compression and tension a truss can be selected and if we only need uh, only tension it will you will have a nonlinear structural element, which is the cable cable behavior. Okay. Then the foundation, the spring foundation, will be defined. In this case, uh, no uh, constraints will be defined, as as the, the the boundary condition will be the, the springs of the foundation with the it is its uh, stiffness and then here well to avoid any uh, avoid uh, the mode a uh, uh, a rigid bo a rigid body or molds there is a, a we defined a and just a simple constraint at the beginning of the of the the beam and then at the lot case we have everything combined you can check always here which are the, the loadings and here at the end the combination of loadings and boundary conditions okay we can show you the mesh this is the mesh okay here you can uh, I didn't show you about about how to move with the with the graphical user interface with a right right uh, mouse button clicked you can rotate the model okay and if you uh, press the scroll you can translate it you can move it with the scroll pressed right button the scroll okay and if you click any of the access as well you can change the views okay and you can click in the center of the sphere the center of the of the coordinate system to fit the model okay so later after we have sold the model, we just can automatically you will have all here all the all the files, and you just click click here to check results. Okay, you can uh, as I told you, you will find in the virtual classroom as well besides the the step-by-step -step, uh, PDF how to how to perform uh, uh, the exercise using the graphical user interface. There are some some files which are the Python files. So you you will see that there's another way to interact with the software. Okay, using the script editor.
you have there is there is a special class about about uh, about it as well okay there's a special um, exercise uh, using using Python you you will you will see it just uh, see your see the, the different uh, exercises you have in the in the platform and check for new uh, announcements any news for new uh, lessons and uh, new topics and find a uh, new practical uh, examples uh, I didn't tell you that of course you can have always help any help here in the theory man you have a lot uh, documentation in the software installed and for Python installation okay anytime if you click here F1 when you have a uh, any button highlighted if you press F1 you will have the help of that item so that's it um, if you need any help please use the forums or email we will always be there uh, to give you uh, our, our support and thank you very much and see you in the next video